Does battery-powered lawn and garden equipment require compromises, or is it actually better than gas-powered equipment? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. About three years ago, I canceled my lawn service and decided to take care of the lawn myself. So I went out and purchased a real mower. No, not that kind, this kind. And I also purchased the Greenworks Pro 60 volt trimmer and blower. I've been using these for multiple years and I've really loved this equipment and it's worked well for me. So I reached out to Greenworks and told them that I was going to be reviewing their products and they graciously agreed to send me the newest version so I could review the latest version that you can buy today. Although Greenworks did send me the new equipment that I'm going to be reviewing, the previous equipment I did buy with my own money, and my opinions here are my own. I was not paid to do this promotion. This is my honest opinion of this equipment. Before we actually dive into the trimmer and the blower and go over some of the details and what I really like about it, I wanna talk about why I actually never considered gas burning powered lawn and garden equipment when I chose these tools. We know about EVs and electric vehicles and how we're saving a lot of emissions that you would be emitting when you're driving a gas vehicle, but a lot of people don't realize how much emissions are put out by gas-powered lawn and garden equipment. According to an article published by Scientific American in 2008, using a gas-powered lawnmower for around an hour puts out as many dangerous airborne pollutants as driving the typical car for 350 miles. They also stated that gas mower emissions account for as much as 5% of the nation's total air pollution. And then according to a white paper that I found about the national emissions from lawn and garden equipment by Jamie L. Banks, PhD, he stated that in 2011, approximately 26.7 million tons of pollutants were emitted by gas, lawn, and garden equipment, accounting for 24 to 45% of all non-road gasoline emissions. Gasoline-powered landscape maintenance equipment, or GLME, which includes leaf blowers, vacuums, trimmers, edgers, brush cutters, etc., accounted for 43% of the VOCs and around 50% of fined particle matter. Two-stroke engines were responsible for the vast majority of fine PM from GLME. So no matter how you look at it, switching from gas-powered lawn and garden equipment to electric-powered lawn and garden equipment does have a big impact. Now I want to dive into some of the details of their Greenworks Pro battery powered trimmer and the Greenworks Pro blower that I have and tell you some of the things about it. The trimmer they sent me was the ST60L212 Greenworks Pro 60 volt straight shaft trimmer which comes with a 2 amp hour battery and charger. The blower that they sent me was the BL60L251, which came with a 2.5 amp hour battery and charger. So my current lawn and garden setup includes a real mower, yes, the old fashioned push kind with no electric motor, no gas motor, and the Greenworks Pro 60 volt straight trimmer and the Greenworks Pro 60 volt blower. In the future, I do plan to upgrade to the battery powered 60 volt pro Greenworks push mower, but for now the real mower is doing its job. So Greenworks claims that their straight shaft trimmer is better than a gas trimmer, but I wanted to go over these details and see if that's really true. First of all, when you purchase the trimmer, of course, there is a little bit of assembly required, but it's very simple, it's very easy, and it doesn't take very long. As you can see, there are only a few things you need to do, connect the shaft, put on the handle, put on the little guard to keep the grass and the trimmer line from coming up into your face, and pop in the battery and you're pretty much ready to go. Like I said, I've been using the old trimmer for a while, but when I got this new trimmer, I instantly felt how much more balanced it was, and just it felt really good in the hands. It has a good balance, it's a good length, and I'm six foot one, so it works well for my height, but I believe if you're a little shorter or a little taller, you'll still be okay. When I took this trimmer out to test it on my lawn, I've used it for a few weeks now, I noticed that it had plenty of power to go through thick grass, to do edging, and to take care of all my landscaping needs. I really like the fact that it is able to use 095 string instead of the thinner 080 string which is found in many battery powered trimmers and this really helped it power through without any struggles. 
Based on its use so far, I would say that their claim that it has as much power or more power than gas-powered equipment is true. It has plenty of power and it's a great trimmer. I also really like the variable speed trigger which allows you to either slow down when you're going through thinner grass or speed it up to cut through thick grass. And beyond that it also has two power settings which allow you to set it to either one or two. And when you set it to the second setting you can tell that it goes noticeably faster and it has more power. The power setting one is great if you want to save battery life, but I generally keep it on setting two because I like to have that extra power when I need it and I can control the speed anyways through the variable trigger. One of the big improvements over the old trimmer is that they put a trimmer head on it that does not require you to take it apart to add string. It's really easy to load and it's a great trimmer head. Another big change they made from the old trimmer to the new trimmer is that they reposition the battery, I think for balance, but also for ease of use here on the top of the trimmer instead of the back of the trimmer. This also gives you really easy access to see how much battery power is left in the battery so you know if you need to go grab a new battery or put it on the charger. The supplied two amp hour battery that came with the trimmer is plenty to do both my front lawn and my back lawn and still have a little bit of battery power left over. And then of course it starts every time. You just simply pop in the battery, pull the trigger, and you're ready to go. Unlike gas powered equipment where you have to fuel it up, prime it, pull the string a bunch of times, warm it up, and then get to work. So is the Greenworks Pro 60 volt trimmer better than gas? In my opinion, it is by far. It has very similar or better performance than any gas powered trimmer that I've ever used. And I don't have to worry about starting it up, gas, the smell, the pollution, and all those things. I just simply pop in the battery, pull the trigger, and I'm ready to go. Now let's move over to the 60 volt blower and talk about what I like about that. This is the Greenworks Pro 60 volt model BL60L251. Like the straight shaft trimmer that we talked about, it also has a variable speed trigger which allows you to do speeds very low or very high. And then if you need the extra power, it does have a turbo button which really puts out a ton of air. What I really love about this particular blower is that it does put out over 600 cubic feet of air per minute, which is quite a lot for a battery powered blower. It can definitely power through a lot of heavy debris, leaves, and take care of most of your landscaping needs with a battery powered blower. Battery powered blowers do traditionally use a lot of battery power very quickly, and so I wanted to test to see how long this battery would last in the blower. With the supply 2.5 amp hour battery, with the trigger fully pulled down and locked down with the little lock mechanism, I was able to run the blower for 21 minutes straight before it stopped. So for most people, that's more than plenty to clean up your driveway, sidewalks, and around the house. In most cases, you probably will actually get more life than that because you won't necessarily be pulling the trigger fully down and holding it the whole time you generally slow down and speed up depending on what you're doing and there's no need to keep the blower on when you're walking from one place to another. The blower is relatively light and very balanced. It has a good quality feel to it and once again, it starts every time. Pop the battery in, blow and clean what you need to and you're done. The last thing I wanna talk about in this review are the batteries and the chargers. So like I mentioned, the trimmer came with a two amp hour battery and the blower came with a 2.5 amp hour battery. These batteries charge in around 45 minutes on the fast charger provided and they do have a great little indicator on the top of battery which tells you how much battery life you have left when you're out using the tool. 
So my overall impression of the Greenworks Pro Tools is that they are built very well and the ones I purchased three seasons ago are performing just fine. The batteries still have plenty of life left and I haven't seen them diminish in any power. They haven't broken in any way. So I can definitely wholeheartedly recommend this equipment to you. I really like the Greenworks brand. On top of that, I really like how they've slightly changed and improved the equipment from the old equipment that I've been using, and I do prefer the new equipment in almost every case over the old equipment, which the old equipment was fine for me, but the new equipment is even better. And as I mentioned, this trimmer and blower both come with a four year battery and tool warranty from Greenworks. So they are willing to stand behind their product because it is a really well built quality product. So really for most people, there's not a good reason to buy gas powered lawn and garden equipment anymore. There's no need to hassle with it when you can get as good or better performance from battery powered equipment like the Greenworks Pro 60 volt tools that I've talked about. If you're in the market for some battery powered lawn and garden equipment and you're considering Greenworks, I can definitely recommend it to you. And I will put some links in the description below where you can purchase this equipment. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you did like the video, if you click the like button, that will help other people find the video as well. I also wanted to take a moment to thank these Patreon supporters, which help me make content. If you're interested in finding out more information about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find out more information in the description below. Thank you so much.